Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, it's been a while since I've gotten to do a video like this, but I figured it was a quick one so uh, we can dispense with pleasantries here. Um, I wanted to show you the T nut trick. The uh, T nut trick is for these little punks right here. If you've ever built a printer with a 2020 beam, um, you know the pain and suffering involved with T nuts. Uh, there's a lot of different theories out there about how these things should be fixated on these. Um, but, 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 there's easier ways to do this. Um, and I'll show you. No, no glue and no marking or anything like that required. Um, it, it's, it's relatively simple. Uh, the trick is, whatever part you're putting on to that extrusion, you put your bolts and your T-nuts in prior putting the part on so if I want to put it on like this then I'm going to line these up to where they are parallel with the open slot and then I'm going to just put it there I'm going to back the screw out all the way until I see it come up a little bit and then I'm going to just slowly turn and voila so now for this one, same thing. I'm just going to back out the screw a little way. You can see the T-nut down there. And then I'm just going to slowly turn. And you can see that T-nut. That T-nut turned underneath it. When it got up to the, the sides, it, when it was raising up, that little edge that is slightly angled and has the grips on it caught the edge. And now you've got a solid piece. So that's the T-nut trick. Um, that works well for vertical, horizontal, wherever you're putting this thing. All you have to do is pre-mount the T-nuts, screw them down all the way, and then put them inside the rail, then unscrew them all the way, and then screw them back in nice and slow-like, and then they will, uh, they'll set just nice and tight like that. Thanks.